guest is Cameron Cushman, Director of Innovation Ecosystems at UNT Health Science Center. Um, so Cameron, tell us about Global Entrepreneurship Week Fort Worth, which will run November 7 through 12. Yeah, so this started four years ago mm -hmm. with a group of volunteers who cared about our local startup community. Mm -hmm. And what we were seeing was is that Fort Worth kind of lacked this, this connecting, this, this, uh, this spotlight around entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Small business owners, investors, everybody who works with small business owners or people who want to start, everybody who has an idea to, you know, companies that are doing really, really well. And we lacked that connecting point for everybody. And so we started it with 17 events four years ago. This year we're probably gonna have over 100 different events happening in this space and in locations around the city, all focused on how do we give entrepreneurs and small business owners what they need. And really what they need more than anything else is connections. They need connections to each other. They need connections to educational resources. They need a lawyer, they need an accountant. They need all these different things, but maybe they're looking for a co-founder. Maybe they're looking for funding. So that's what we're trying to do is try to connect our local ecosystem because we know that innovation and entrepreneurship thrives in dense, well-connected networks. Last year we had to go all virtual because of the pandemic, but we ended up as the number one global entrepreneurship week in the country, mm. mostly because we could just crank out the events. We had over 85 events all focused on entrepreneurship in Fort Worth. This year mm -hmm. we're back in person mm -hmm. uh, with kind of a hybrid session. We'll have a bunch of events in person. We'll also have some events that are completely virtual. And then we'll have some events that are a little bit of both. You can watch from home in real time or you'll be able to, uh, to attend in person. Okay. Well, highlight a few uh, events that you're particularly excited about. We feel like there's a real stigma around failure mm -hmm. and risk taking here in Fort Worth. If you fail in your startup company, it, people feel like you have that, that, that scarlet letter on your chest that you have to wear mm -hmm. around. We want to remove that, right? We need more people to take risks. So we're hosting a series of what we call startup funerals, where we're literally <laughs> going to celebrate the life and the death mm -hmm. of people's startup companies. What did they learn mm -hmm. from that? What can we learn from them? And then how do we as a community embrace that individual, embrace that entrepreneur, so they can go do it again. They can do what entrepreneurs do, which is solve problems, make jobs for people and bring new creations to market. I uh, will also have our annual state of entrepreneurship event, which is where we talk about uh, how we're doing. What does entrepreneurship look like in Fort Worth? If you look at it from a very 30,000 foot view, Fort Worth is behind not only other large Texas cities, but other cities in the country. And we don't want to do that. We mm -hmm. want to we want to try to succeed. We want to try to help our entrepreneurs. Probably going to end up being about 100 events throughout the week all across the city. Okay, cool. And if folks want to uh, view or participate or come in person, how do they find out more about uh, this week coming up? GEWFortWorth.org. Mm -hmm. That's GEWFortWorth.org. And uh, you can see all the sessions. You can RSVP. Almost all of the events are free. Mm -hmm. uh, so you got no excuse. Come mm -hmm. and, and, and check it out uh, in person or virtually. Uh, and you can register for the events. We'll, you'll get information on, you know, specifics on where they are. And uh, just pick and choose. Uh, right now, we're, we're literally adding events every day. And uh, it's going to be really exciting. We've got events in Arlington. We've okay. got events in, in other places throughout Tarrant County and the Metroplex. And again, it's virtual. So if you're, if you're traveling that week or you're somewhere else, feel free to watch the Global Entrepreneurship Week events that uh, are either pre-recorded or happening in a virtual format. I remember our last conversation, you had some fun statistics. New jobs are largely created from small businesses and startups. Why, why are entrepreneurs such an important topic for, for Fort Worth to follow? Almost all net new job creation in the United States comes from firms less than five years old. Wow. Okay. So it's not the small businesses that really create the jobs, it's the new businesses that create gotcha. jobs. Okay. So, but good, good point on this. We looked at this last year. In fact, we released the data during startup, uh, during Global Entrepreneurship Week last mm -hmm. year. In Tarrant County, every year, and the number was very consistent across the five years we looked at, new companies, which we defined as zero to one years old. So the newest of the new companies created 25,000 jobs a year. Okay. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna release the data again with updated data, it's even higher this year. When it comes to pure like net job creation, new companies are what matter. Okay. Those are interesting questions and you're trying to find the answers to that. Uh, we wish you the best um, and we wish uh, for everyone to follow Global Entrepreneurship Week Fort Worth, November 7 through 12. So Cameron, it's been fun talking to you. You got it, thanks for having us. Our pleasure. We'll see you in November. See you in a couple weeks. All right.